Hello and welcome to the Wind Out Lemworth Area Agency on Aging and ADRC presentation on transferring a document to a jump drive. If this is your first video with us, hello and welcome. In this video, we will be giving a short presentation on options you have for transferring files from a computer to a jump drive. We'll start by going over what can be called a jump drive as well as its intended purpose. We'll have examples of multiple ways you can transfer documents or files from your computer to your own jump drive and then we'll end the presentation with how to safely remove a jump drive without losing any data. Now, first and foremost, what is a jump drive? Call it what you will, a thumb drive, a USB flash drive, or a pen drive, it's all the same. All these names describe a small portable device that is used to save and transfer computer files. Jump drives also serve multiple other purposes, such as storage of data and files, transferring computer files, and backing up data. Two ways you can go about transferring documents is by right-clicking on the files or by using keyboard shortcuts. Whichever route you choose, you'll start by inserting your drive into your computer's tower. Make sure you only input secure devices that you trust into your computer. Once your device is recognized, its icon should appear on your taskbar. If it doesn't, open File Explorer or your taskbar's hidden icons and it should be there. If you want to use the right-clicking method, locate the files you want to copy or move and left-click those you wish to select. If you want to select multiple files without any exclusions, hold down the Shift key and left-click the first file you want and then left-click on the last one. This should highlight all files between the start and end points. If you don't want to select all files, you can hold down the Control key as you left-click the files you do want, which will select only those. When you have all the files you want, Use your mouse to right-click and choose the Copy option. Then go to your Jump Drive's link in File Explorer. Double-click to open it. Once you have, right-click on a clear space to paste the files. Make sure to check that all files and data you want added to the drive have successfully uploaded. For the Copy and Paste method, once again choose which files or folders you want uploaded to your drive. Hit the Tab key to highlight your file, and then use the Shift key to select them. Once selected, Press Ctrl plus C to copy them. If you don't have File Explorer open, you can use the shortcut Window plus E to open it. Once there, select your jump drive and place your files into the drive by using the shortcut Ctrl plus V. If you wanted to move files from your jump drive to a computer or laptop, then you can use the same steps, but from your jump drive to whatever secure device you want to use. Once you're done, you'll want to eject your device in a safe way that prevents your data from being lost or corrupted. The first way you can do this is by finding the Safely Remove Hardware icon on your taskbar. Once you find it, right-click on the icon and choose to remove it. If no icon is there, right-click on the taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. In the Notifications area, hit Select which icons appear on the taskbar. Scroll through the options and find File Explorer, Safely Remove Hardware, and Eject Media. You can also open File Explorer and right-click the jump drive's icon to eject the device. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. If you like our content, check out the Unified Government of Wyandotte County, Kansas City, Kansas' YouTube channel at www.youtube.com c slash unified government. Once there, click the Playlist tab and choose Wyandotte Leavenworth Area Agency on Aging. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. You can join us on our Facebook group, Wyandotte Leavenworth Area Agency on Aging, or you can follow us on Nextdoor at Wyco Aging Department. If you'd like to speak with the Council on Aging, their office is located at 1830 South Broadway Street in Leavenworth, Kansas. Their main office phone number is 913-684-0777, and their office hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Or if you'd like to get in touch with the Wyandotte Leavenworth Area Agency on Aging, their office is located at 849 North 47th Street, Suite C, in Kansas City, Kansas. Their main office phone number is 913-573-8531. You can visit their webpage at www.wycokck.org aging, or you can email them at 60plus at wycokck.org. Their office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. On behalf of the Area Agency on Aging, we'd like to thank you for joining us today and hope the information that we have provided has been helpful to you. Be sure to check out more of our videos 
and have a great day.